What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Today we're going to talk about systematic racism and the fire department. And I got a clip I want you guys to watch after I speak. Now before I get started, there are some black people on the internet who pretend like systematic racism doesn't exist. They either pretending like systematic racism doesn't exist or they're that stupid, that ignorant and that low in their educational you know endeavors that they don't see the systematic racism that's right in front of their their face right and these people are usually they call themselves black republicans they're coons they are definitely coons and what coons are what black republicans are because it it, it it blows my mind what black republicans are are black people who are so weak and afraid to fight for real black empowerment that they capitulate to the um, dominating power to get close to them in order to seek favor from them whether monetarily or socially and most of the time they just look like fools idiots and jokers that's why 90 percent of black folks don't fall for that stupid white racism uh allyship that they call black republicans and maga and all these weirdos right who will sit in your face and tell you that systematic racism it doesn't exist it's almost like they don't know what the hell systematic racism actually is you see systematic racism is a system built to where in the system different cogs in that machine can take action or not take action based off their own personal beliefs and still have plausible deniability when they take action or don't take action and usually because the system is filled with individuals right the system itself the scaffolding itself may be a good system but the cogs in the machine the individual cogs in the machine and you don't need too many defunctional defect uh, de defected cogs you only need a few cogs in the machine to stop operations to slow down operations to slow down progress almost like having a heart attack right you got plaque build up in your in your bloodstream. P things can't flow because that systematic racism builds up inside your system. And before you know it, society's having a heart attack. Like right now, society's having a heart attack because all the systematic racism that's clogging up the system. All right? Clog closing up the blood flow. All right? Now, fire department, which is a group of people who are supposed to be charged with protecting people. They get into a job that's very dangerous, that doesn't even get thanks all the time. They don't get praised enough, right? And they put themselves in harm's way. They know this going in. But white people in America, right? Not all white people. There are most of firefighters are great people and they do their job very well and they'll save anybody, right? But there was a time in this, there was a time in this country where there was no there was no back pushing from their personal feelings of white men when it came to black people and since the system is set up for them to be able to do whatever they want to anybody they want even an institution like the fire department has a systemic racism problem that causes the death that caused the death of thousands of black people probably more than that tens of thousands of black people. there's in incountable number right in every facet of american society the system itself has racist cogs in the machine that will f up the progress of black people when moving through the various different systems and departments that this government has to offer or that the services that are supposed to be private to american citizens equally but these black guys they want to pretend like this that's listen that's why i don't respect any of these new age Repu MAGA Republicans. First of all, these fucking idiots are almost like the last of the Mohicans right now. Even regular Republicans realize that MAGA is a fucking joke, is a racist, authoritarian, anti-democratic, anti-patriotic group of people who want to uphold and uplift white supremacy. Anybody with two eyes and two ears and just a little bit of sense can see that. So having a black person try to pump Trump, that guy is either purposely, 
purposely, purposely a traitor to his people on purpose for money or he's just that fucking stupid. And I can't respect that level of stupidity from an adult and I can't respect the traitor's mentality of, of any person to do that. And here's the thing. You fucking black MAGA Republicans that don't believe that systematic racism exists, when they finish doing all that shit they want to do to us, guess what they do with your coon ass, huh? They pat you on the fucking head, give you a butter biscuit with a little bit of honey on it, and they talk about your ass when you walk out the fucking room with your well, with fucking tail wagging. They don't respect you. Nobody respects a fucking traitor. So all you black fucking MAGA Republicans, you're fucking traitors because you don't believe in the systematic racism and you fight for and advocate for white supremacy, white systems to be left alone to do the shit that they want to do against black people. Let me tell you something. In America, there was a time where white people could do what the fuck they wanted and nobody was going to check them. If you want to see an example of what it looks like when white people do what the fuck they want, why nobody's checking them? All you got to do is look over there in Israel and look what those white people are doing, right, to those brown people because ain't nobody checking them. Look at what those white people are doing in motherfucking Congo right now. It all started in Congo and it's going to end in Congo. And I'm just going to say this. Africa will never be free until Congo is free, period. That's just the truth. It's always been about Congo. It's always been about Congo. The shit we don't pay attention to. Because most people don't pay attention to what's going on in the world. This shit ain't new. This shit been happening. But we don't pay attention to it because we want to be inner fucking tamed. And then we got all these stupid ass black fucking MAGA dumbass Republicans on the internet pumping white supremacy, trying to repackage it uh, as some fucking red pill, manosphere bullshit, trying to act like they're fucking contrarians making dumbass arguments. Right? They're just fucking stupid coon traitors is what the fuck they are. Because systematic racism exists. Because if it didn't exist, we wouldn't be fucking talking about it. But anyway, without further ado, I want you to see this shit. I want you to see what black people in America has to deal with. What we've dealt with in the system that these coon ass freaking traitors don't fucking believe exists. They believe it never existed. And they do, they don't, they, they be, they downsize it like it's not that bad right just like white people oh slavery wasn't that bad you guys was enjoying it you learned some things right you learned some lessons and shit huh that's what these coons are saying these d d <laughs> it's amazing but anyway without further ado i want you to watch this video listen to this story and this is just one story but this is like the the iceberg you only see the tip of the iceberg right but even that tip of that iceberg looks massive to to the eyes to, to the eyes of a human being but even as massive as that tip of that iceberg is, it doesn't even compare to how vast the body of that iceberg is underneath the water, right? So underneath the water of plausible deniability of white America is all layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of degenerate fucked up shit that they was getting away with before they were able to be held accountable for their actions. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Afro Think Tank, learn some, teach some. I'm out. Okay, quick story that has me literally shaking right now. So for context, I drive trucks and I stop at this Denny's to grab a coffee because I'm addicted to caffeine. I went in there to get my coffee to go and then I walked to the bathroom, but as I'm walking to the bathroom, it's this old guy sitting to the left with about 12 people that's celebrating his 89th birthday. I got a call from my dispatcher and he was like, yo, you can chill, no rush, they're not ready for the freight, so you can relax a little bit. Sat down, ordered some food, so now I'm sitting like across from the guy that's celebrating his birthday. Time goes by, I'm down there at the end of my meal and everybody that basically came to celebrate with him had left so now it's just him and his wife so as i get up to go wash my hands i see him and i give him a smile i'm like happy birthday young man 89 that's a lot of memory to have here's the thing i don't even know why i said that he could have had alzheimer's i don't i'm not even sure what i'm what i meant by that like but that's what i said and he said well thank you young man and he smiled and he kind of just stared at me and i just walked back there and washed my fucking hands so i come back and his wife is gone she's talking to some other lady that goes to the same church they do and he sees me he says come here come here come here and i say yes and he said there are way too many things that i wish i could forget and i say yeah man you make it to damn near 100 years old i'm pretty sure you got a handful of regrets and he looked at me with the most serious look ever and said you have no idea 
Well, now I'm curious, do tell. He said, you know, I used to be a firefighter through the 60s and 70s. I said, that's what's up. That's a very commendable job. And he said, yeah, it should be. He said the 60s and 70s was a different time in every way possible. You know that, right? And I'm just like, yeah, no shit. He said, back in those times, I was a way different man. And who knew that we'd get to the point where we are in society today and I'd be feeling the way I'm feeling about the decisions that I made back in those times. So I'm like, man, if you don't fucking tell me, bro. So right before he took a very long pause, he looked at me and said, back in those times, it was very common for firefighters that look like me to leave people that look like you and burning houses and buildings and horrible situations just to say they couldn't get to us. He said more times than he'd like to admit he would hear screaming black people and children in burning buildings and houses and apartments and stores and cars and he would literally just pretend he didn't hear it. He said his last time doing it was when he made eye contact with the baby that he deliberately went into a building to save and deliberately didn't and he said that was the last time he did it and he quit that, that year. He said the nightmare still hasn't stopped. He still hasn't forgiven himself and therapy helps, but it's still a living nightmare to have those memories. And I guess that shit just shocked me so much because when it came to firefighters, I never thought of them like that. Like when it came to like police officers, lawyers and judges and everybody else, we knew they didn't give a fuck, especially police officers. We knew they didn't give a fuck about us, but I don't know why that didn't click to me that no it was everybody that hated us everybody everybody had a hand in deliberately making our lives worse but when i calmed down from being mad enough to want to pull the plug on his ass i thought about it i thought about it and i was like of course they did this of course of course they did this shit Duh, like, why was I even shocked? Like, I, of course. But it is something that I cannot think about for too long because that visual of you fake going to save somebody and not saving them because of the color of their skin and the entire 911 understanding because, oh, yeah, you couldn't get Jamal. <laughs> oh, well, just another one gone. Like, that, that shit, I don't know. Listen to this Jews lie on an official report and said they searched for two black children and never did, never did. But the firefighters, they weren't fired for manipulating an official document, lying about their duty and oath to protect and rescue. Let's put up the picture of the family, okay? You see the two black children, they're dead, they're dead. The firefighters, two of them lied. On the same report and said, "Oh, we did everything we could. We went inside, we did a sweep of the apartment. They did nothing, not a damn thing. Guess what? They are being protected, but I'm going to expose every single one of them. Keep that picture up. You're looking at Crystal Cooper. She's in the center, she's grieving the loss of her two sons. Sierra Mitchell and Lamar Mitchell, 12 and nine respectively. Dead. A Michigan mother is now demanding answers and accountability. And the two firefighters gave an all clear. Now that's important to note. All clear means nobody else should come here to help. They gave an all clear during a house fire that left both of her sons dead. Flint is where this happened. Flint. Fire Chief Raymond Barton found that Sergeant Daniel Snagoki and Michael Zlotek completed false reports about what occurred on that Memorial Day weekend fire. He said it. He said, yeah, these guys lied. He did, he did something else. They claimed to have searched for the children on the second floor where the bodies of both of them, the 12 year old and nine year old were discovered by two other firefighters six minutes later. Now, keep in mind the variables so far. The fire chief says, yeah, they lied on an official report. What is that? That's violation of oath of office. 
That is a crime. That's a criminal act. You can actually be charged with a felony. Two other firefighters ended up finding the dead bodies a crucial six minutes afterwards. After those firefighters, initial ones, lied. There's more. The chief recommended that the two lying firefighters who happen to be white be fired. He said they got to go. But one was allowed to resign because somebody decided to override the chief. And the other was suspended for two weeks and received additional search and rescue training before returning to the job because somebody decided to override that decision by the chief as well. Now, the person who decided to override this wanted to remain top secret. But I got the goods and we're gonna expose the individual who did it. There's more. Let's put up a picture of Miss Crystal Cooper who was speaking at the- With all the nonsense going on with policing, I used to feel confident in saying like, yo, at least firefighters ain't like that. Well, hmm, let's talk about that. This black firefighter was taken to a Juneteenth themed party by his captain where they had fried chicken buckets and cognac party favors. And not just that, y'all. They had pictures of Democratic politicians on stakes. Which reminds me of how after rebellions, they would chop black folks heads off and put their heads on stakes. Like that's what happened with the Stono Rebellion, for instance. And just so we're clear, this happened on the wealthy side of town, too. And these affluent folks had a cutout of Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? So you, you already know what was going on. Then after complaining, he was assigned to work with the same dude who took him to that racist party. More power to this brother. I hope he gets all the money he's suing for and then some. Is it too much to ask you to grant us human dignity? Should we be put down and shot to death for this request? If so, you can aim your guns. What the hell do you think we care about dying if you're going to deny us the right to live? <laughs>